Okay, so now that the oil has been drained, I've left it overnight. I had to remove one of the on the tree, just so I can get more access to, to the oil pan. With some persuasion, I managed to get the oil pan off. However, I had to move this way about a little bit. So there's two bolts there, and there's one underneath. And that allows it to shift back and forward, both sides. And that way I managed to pull it forward and then get the oil pan off. But I did have to completely turn it sideways. So all you have to do, exactly how it is there, just get it into that position. Or that part all the way to the end, and it should slide out from the top. Okay, so I got my manifold back from the welder. He's done a eh, eh, questionable job, but it's, it's on. Um, what I'm going to put is uh, some RTV uh, silicone, just to seal the gasket a little bit, right there. So I'm going to put some there, put the gasket on, and then a little bit on the outside as well. And then attach it onto the turbo, and get it in the car. Okay, so manifold is bolted on to the engine. Got a little helper, putting some uh, some more RTV on it. Doing a sick job. It's actually pretty bad. He's a, he claims he's a professional ice cake maker. So he said he's good at this shit. <laughs> Not to get demonetized for that. <laughs> Yeah, after that, let's slap the turbo on, tighten it up, and then downpipe needs to attach onto the turbo as well. Using that, coming together quite nicely. So the turbo is uh, fully mounted now. Just put a bit of RTV on the sides of the manifold and the turbo connection just to make sure. And then I attached the damp pipe, a bit of a pain, to get this onto both sides of the damp pipe and the turbo, but got it on. Fairly secure, not moving at all. So, quite happy with it so far. Next step, you just need to remove your oil bead and your fuel return for your turbo. Um, it's this bolt down here. That long one there, which I believe is a 22mm, and the oil is a... Um, 19 millimeter. So yeah, remove them two bolts completely and replace them with um, these banjo screws bolts. In fact, um, it would be recommended if you get some washers and um, preferably with some rubbers surrounds. Get tight seal. But yeah, that will just lead to your turbo. Just gonna attach it on top. Um, and then for the oil, it just go uh, for the fuel. Sorry, it then goes to the fuel regulator, which then goes to your fuel return to the back of the car. Next step, we have this massive hose, which connects to the bottom of your turbo, which is your oil return, which then would be wired. Oh, I said uh, into your um, sump, which I still need to drill a hole for. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it for now. Okay, so this was what I was talking about. So, I just picked it up from a local shop in the mine. Um, they just did plumbing bits. But yeah, I got it roughly the same size as a turbo. Um, inlet for the piping. The pipe that I got was 16 millimeters. It's just a, just use some heater hose, but it should be fine. Um, so basically, that goes into the that goes into the then the screw the threaded side goes into your um, sump, and then the bolt on the other side will go into the actual sump and screw it down um, with washers on either side. But yeah, we'll start to do that. So I managed to um, <clears throat> drill out the hole for the um, oil return. It's not the best of holes, but uh, it's not too bad. Got a little bit of a um, gap there, but we'll use washers and I'll put some um, silicone just to make sure because you definitely don't want an oil leak. Um, yeah, so the reason why the sump has to come off when you're doing this is one, you need to put a bolt on the back, and two, because all these metal shavings 
that definitely has to come out so just make sure you give it a good clean a very good clean uh, before putting your sump back okay so with a lot of filing because I didn't have, a, didn't have a big enough drill bit so I end up just punching a hole and then filing out um, just using the file um, it's pretty good I've just plastered loads of um, uh, RTV silicone around it hopefully I don't have any leaks that's the other side so it does have a washer as well but yeah um, yeah that should be it that just attaches onto this hose which then goes to the table okay so just have a little bit more clean of just a bit of oil um, metal still left and um, get it back on the car so after a long night next day I've um, just cut the um, oil holes that I was going to use to size and put it on to the end of my fitting it's very snug not moving at all um, the only issue I have is it might be touching the manifold a little bit but if I cable tie it onto that pipe there it should be okay um, just remember I need to tighten up my um, sump drain bolt so consider I'm changing the oil might as well change the oil filter as well so I got myself a new oil filter from Hal Foods and you're gonna need one of these bad boys or something similar um, used to take oil filters off just grab it and turn and that should be it right so the last two things that I've done um, why the ECU um, got this from the previous owner that came with the kit just an ECU piggyback um, fairly straightforward um, yeah, it has all the instructions inside just need to open up your ECU and just wire it in I recommend solar in just so it won't come off and um, it lets you run up to 7 psi next what I did is just complete the um, the tubing so I've connected the blow valve to the throttle body and then connected to the rest of the piping and that's pretty much it um, just give it a little test run after this uh, still quite a little bit of touching up to do like well, these two pipes are very close to the downpipe so I've wrapped them for now but might need to move a little bit same with the oil return just kind of strapped it on for the moment but yeah time to give her a little test oh,